this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up Laravel framework we'll set up a sample project so I'm going to go to uh, laravel.com laravel.com and uh, I'm going to click on the documentation tab and if I scroll through down I get uh, something called as a link to a composer so this is like a dependency with which Laravel runs on so without composer Laravel does not work so we've got to install composer first so I'm gonna go to uh, the composer so it's basically located at getcomposer.org and uh, if I click on download and uh, download the composer setup.exe so it's asking me where to download let me just download it at my desktop and it's over now if I click on the setup file so it's you know let's run the setup file composer setup and uh, for this to work you know composer requires a running installation of PHP so I would recommend you to install WAMP server first WAMP server you can just go to uh, WAMP server download download for Windows and you, know, you you give whatever version you want and uh, you'll be able to get the WAMP server setup done so here we have WAMP server and uh, click on start using WAMP server and then you can uh, choose whichever version you would want to use so you know mine is a 64 bit and I've already installed WAMP server so I'm not going to install WAMP server again once you your WAMP server is installed you've got to locate to the php.exe file which is in the WAMP server so I'm going to click on browse and I've installed my WAMP on my E drive so let me just uh, navigate to the uh, location wherever I've installed WAMP so it's in the bin folder PHP PHP 5 point uh, the version of the PHP and then php.exe file and if I click on next so it's asking me to use any proxy server so I, I mean proxy server I don't want so I'll just click on next and if I click on install so the composer will install because look I've already installed composer it's telling me this and if I click on next uh, so here is my complo uh, composer setup getting done if I click on finish the composer setup is done so let me just close this out and how do I know if, if the composer setup is properly installed let me just go to my command prompt and type composer so if it's providing the you know list of commands that means that the composer is properly set up so here is the composer setup being done after this it's it's pretty simple you've just got to go to the www folder of the WAMP server so let me just go to www folder so it's basically forward slash WAMP forward slash www and here is the www folder and now let me just install the laravel framework so installing the laravel framework is pretty simple so if I have you know if I just go there here composer create project prefer destination laravel slash laravel blog and if I just copy this and uh, let me just for a moment paste it here and give the uh, name whatever you want it so if I just give it as a test project now laravel is going to get installed inside the test project folder which would be located inside the www folder so let me just uh, show it to you for a second so I just copy this and then I'm gonna paste it if I click on enter it would take some time for laravel to get installed meanwhile if we have a look at my www folder here is my www folder I have one two three all these projects already existing now let me just uh, wait for it to get started and then okay so here is the final uh, setup done it says application key and it should show the application key if your installation is successful now let's just go to uh, the test project folder 
test project cd test project and then i'll just issue php artisan serve php artisan serve command now if i do that it should give me a port number so if i just go to localhost 8000 localhost 8000 it shows laravel 5 is running now for this to work be aware that wamp should be running let me just uh, turn on my wamp server so wamp server it's got to go uh, to a green icon where it starts online yeah so now it says the server is online now if you can look at it laravel 5 is up and running so this is the easiest way to install laravel framework in your pc in the next video let us see how we can proceed with laravel